Well, good morning. Just two days to go until Massachusetts voters get their chance to weigh in on the presidential race. And uh, starting Monday evening here on WBZ, we'll be re releasing the results of our latest WBZ UMass Amherst poll on the race and on other matters. That should be kind of interesting. But this morning, we're giving... Uh, an opportunity to debate to representatives of the two Democratic contenders uh, who will be on your ballot on Tuesday. And they are Phil Johnston, to the left of your screen, former chair of the Massachusetts Democratic Party. He's representing Senator Bernie Sanders. Welcome, Phil. Thank you, John. And Thank representing you. former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, Newton Mayor Seti Warren. Mayor, welcome. Great to see you. Good to have you gentlemen here. Let's start our little mini-debate. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll give you the first crack at this one, uh, Seti. The experts are saying we may be on the verge of slipping into another economic recession. Mm. What makes your candidate better equipped to steer us through it and restore economic growth? Well, myself and 12 other mayors around the state of Massachusetts believe that Hillary Clinton understands what needs to be done in job creation, investment, and education so we get our uh, people in our communities trained up. They can take advantage of the new economy and in infrastructure. We have failing roads, transportation systems, and we need to make sure we have housing and all those components make for uh, investment in people so that they can afford to live in our communities, they can contribute, um, and they have good paying jobs. She has specific proposals in all those areas to make those investments. So I think she has the experience. I think she has the platform to do it. Phil? You know, the last 30 years have seen the vaporization of the middle class and the poor in this country, and I think we need very serious change, or particularly economic change. And we need to focus on the economic inequities that have developed over the last several decades to the point where most of the wealth that's been created during that period has gone to the very richest people in the country. So Bernie Sanders is very focused on that, and the core of his message is that we need to invest, as said he said, and I think there's a Democrat party consensus around this in infrastructure in order to produce maybe 15 million new jobs. We need to make sure that every man, woman, and child in the country has access to high quality affordable health care. As important as and as great as Obamacare was, we still got 29 million people without health insurance. So what's the difference here? I think uh, one of the things that I think Hillary Clinton has that's unique is, is her experience, her background from uh, fighting for people uh, of color and others in the Children's Defense uh, Fund uh, to being uh, a part of the Clinton administration and ensuring that 8 million children got health insurance, fighting hard against some of the toughest folks in the industry, and then her initiatives now to, to build real investments in education and job training um, and infrastructure, as I said, and housing and making health care more affordable. Does that give her an edge, Phil? No, I, th I think that Bernie's walked the walk for the last 50 years or so. You know, his entire life has been around these issues, and he's been had a very consistent record before he was in Congress, and certainly as a House member and as a Senate member. And uh, he's been uh, uh, influential in all of the issues that we're talking about within the party. Well, your candidate uh, proposes mm -hmm. to go much more aggressively after the wealthy in terms of taxation. Hillary Clinton wants to cap tax hikes at, I believe, $250,000 of income. Isn't that a key difference there? It is, uh, but, I, but I think we, we have to, uh, you know, $250,000 is really a pretty high bar for income in this country. When you have uh, African-American young people, we're looking at 51% of them are unemployed, and uh, we need to put them to work, and we need to make sure that we have economic and social and racial justice in this country, and it's going to cost some money in order to put folks to work. Equal time? Look, I think uh, her proposals in taxing Wall Street, for example, um, and making the investments that matter that I talked about. I'm a veteran of the Iraq War. Uh, we've got a serious issue around opioid, the opioid addiction in all of our communities on the ground. I talked to the mayor of New Bedford, Lawrence, and others, Worcester, who are all supporting Hillary. They say that we need a commander-in-chief that's going to make investments on the ground in these areas so that uh, our folks can live up to our full potential. And we have working members of the economy. So which one, uh, which candidate has a better 
better idea of how to, to get the dough to make all this great stuff happen briefly, each of you. Go well, ahead, I think that I think that uh, Senator Sanders has a very specific plan to raise significant revenue. Uh, for instance, on the uh, 15 million new jobs for, through infrastructure, there'd be a 0.03, three-tenths of one percent uh, tax on inherited uh, income in a state's over three and a half million dollars. Uh, that's a pretty high bar as well. So only the, the wealthy are going to be taxed in a serious way, and they should be. I mean, as he says, we bailed out Wall Street, now it's time that Wall Street helped us. Equal time. Does, does Secretary Clinton oppose that inheritance tax? Look, what Secretary Clinton <clears throat> talks about is the transactions that go on on Wall Street and, and making sure those are taxed. So we make the investments that matter in, on Main Street and all of our cities and towns. We know uh, that uh, health care is a, a particular issue with costs going up. The ACA has been an excellent um, initiative. S over 60 million people who have uh, received health care. We've got to bring down so those costs. She's got plans to do that. I'm glad you raised that because we're going to talk about health care when we come back from this quick break as our mini debate between surrogates for Clinton and Sanders continues here on WBZ in a moment. Stay with us. Welcome back to our mini debate between surrogates for the campaigns of Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders. And gentlemen, Let's talk about health care. So far, no one has figured out how to stop the growth of health care costs. Not at the federal level, not at the state level. Let's start with you here, Phil. What's Bernie Sanders' fresh, ingenious new idea for well, doing for that? Well, he's for Medicare for all, and uh, some people are characterizing that as some kind of radical plan. Ted Kennedy supported Medicare for all to his dying day, uh, and I think if you look at the polling, the American uh, people do as well. It's a way of having universality, and as I mentioned earlier, we still have, even with the ACA, and said he's right about this, the ACA has been transformative, but we still have 29 million people in this country who don't have health insurance. And Costs so, continue to soar. And costs continue to soar. So we need a simpler uh, kind of uh, system in this country. Uh, and I think the Medicare for All plan uh, makes enormous sense Single both in terms of access and in terms of cost containment. Go ahead. So, look, uh, Secretary Clinton made it clear we need to build off of the ACA. It's, it is a transformative act. I, as I mentioned, 16 million Americans, over 16 million Americans have health insurance because of it since the enactment. A couple of things I want to make uh, clear that Secretary wants to do. She still believes in the public option. And she believes that we need to work with states to, uh, to in implement that. That could help expand access for uh, health care for folks. We want to bring down the costs, including deductibles for people and the cost of prescription dr drugs. She talks Ow. about negotiating and working with and sometimes pushing against the pharmaceutical industry to do that. She also talks about making sure that the premiums that continue to go up for people, people in communities all over Massachusetts and the country, are affordable. She speaks about those premiums specifically when she says we shouldn't have uh, people's income uh, dedicated to that, 8.5% uh, of their, over 8.5% of their income dedicated to premium increases. Rebuttal. And by the way, Senator Sanders has succeeded Senator Kennedy as the principal advocate for community health centers, which are the best deal in town. Uh, we've got 47 here in Massachusetts. They now serve about 24 million people in this country, largely low income and largely people of color. We need to build on that. The ACA does provide money. Bernie got the money, uh, which is about $12 billion, in order to make sure that 40 million people are going to be able to access community health centers. Okay, but Mayor Warren and cited a couple of positions Clinton has taken to contain costs. Where's Sanders well, on that? Well, the Medicare for all will, will in itself, because of the universal nature of the program and because of the ability of the federal government to regulate uh, price, will, those prices are going to come down in a significant way. By the way, for the first two or three years after the ACA passed, premiums did come down. Now they're creeping up again, and so the, whoever becomes president is going to have to deal with that. Are you buying that? that full government control will bring down costs? Uh, what I think I'm buying and many mayors across the state of Massachusetts are buying is that we need to build off of the ACA and, and be practical and smart about it. Look, veterans, for example, need access to good quality health care for mental health issues in addition to physical health issues. What Secretary Clinton has talked about specifically is partnering with private 
um, institutions and nonprofit institutions so that veterans in their area can have access to those. And they're streamlined so they can get it. As a veteran, I think that's very specific and important around the healthcare discussion as well. Gentlemen, very interesting. Our time mm -hmm. on the TV side is up, but this conversation is going to continue in just a moment. Uh, head on over to CBSBoston.com for more of this mini debate. Gentlemen, thank you both very much thank for you. being here. And don't forget, complete Super Tuesday coverage starts at 8 on our sister station, TV 38. Now, back to my colleagues for more WBZ News.